Hi, this is Vincent. It's actually raining in Dubai right now, so I want to invite you on board the latest Majesty 140. It's a, one of the biggest boats at the Dubai Boat Show. So come on board and let's have a look at this boat together. So while there is no hydraulic swim platform, you'll notice that the middle one can move and have the hydraulic feature, which is great. So you kind of have both feeling of having the main sweep platform, but the center that has the hydraulic feature. We have a nice little dinging garage that can be transformed into your own beach club type patio. So let's go in the cockpit. So this 140 is very uh, generous in size, very voluminous. We've got 398 gross tonnage for this boat, which offer a lot of volume. So I'm standing on the side, side little door of the cockpit but if I show you right here the work very large window very nice design and the combination of stainless steel GRP and window is great work from GovCraft so look at the size of this cockpit this table can go up and down so you can have them on coffee table or just regular dining table very nice opening with your marble and wood so not only is there are big windows on that 140 there are also a lot of mirrors. You have big mirrors on each side. This one includes a nice uh, flat screen TVs. Of course, those furnitures are modulable, so you can move them around the way you wish. I like the way they did the separation with the dining area, with this very nice light with incorporated wood. Nice table for 10. Great artwork from Majesty. So follow me. Let's go to the galley. We have a little pantry on the port side, crew quarter, and the galley very generous in size you still also enjoy a very big opening on the galley which might be very appreciable for your crew a lot of room on this fridge freezer and all the appliances you need so i also like the little lounge forward close to the galley and you'll have the access to the big crew quarter so now we're going back to the main section we have a nice day head quality of the work and materials so the way this boat is set up is quite specific we have forward, we don't have the owner's cabin, we have a nice little lounge and we have two VIP cabins. We have still a very large op window opening with, which will bring you a lot of lights and also quite spacious bathroom with enclosed shower. So we'll have a similar cabin on the other side, okay? So because this boat is quite big, we're going to go downstairs to the other. I'll show you some more cabins. A lot of mirrors on that boat. And I really like the combination of color of wood and leather. So on the lower deck, you'll have two guest cabins. Have a look at the size of the bed, how wide they are. So we have the same type of cabin on the port side. And now we have also some guest cabin with very nice window and also generous bathroom. So we actually have seven cabins on that 140. And I want to show you the master cabin, which is on the upper deck. Now you love the way the master cabin is set up on this uh, 140. This is absolutely huge and gives you an amazing feeling of space. So we'll have the helm station forward. Another maybe captain or guest cabin here. So actually there is more cabin as you can see. We'll go to this helm station after I want to show you the owner's cabin. Can be better than this. You have your own Israel Beauty station or desk with those massive windows. But have a look at the size of the master cabin as i said this boat is almost 400 gross tons of volumes king bed so much space to walk around your private deck for the owners with a dual coach on each size with very nice upholstery done by a golf craft so there is another deck with an opaque mare crane very nice hot tub open roof very large galley with everything you need and one of the things that i really like also is the layout how they put the layout upper deck with a, another dining section but forward you really have that entertaining circular shape sofa and couches this small table which are very appreciable with a lot of space to put your drink also have a look at the teak work on that majesty 140 table of course that can go down also this one so let's go i want to show you see if we can go to the engine room i'm going to the crew quarter very nice quality of material when you go to the crew quarter look at the appliances and the galley professional grade galley with an island washer and dryer very nice 
crew quarter a lovely engine room with your big engines so this is the mtu the 16 v 2000 m94 they are 2000 i think they are 2600 horsepower each i forgot to go to the home station now this boat got a range at low speed of 4160 nautical miles which is fairly amazing range for a boat of this size i think she will cruise around 18.5 knots max speeds and around 15 or 16 knots a cruise so good performance also for that 140 feet yard so i hope you enjoy the visit of this uh, majesty 140 if you want to learn more and if you want to see the home station and many other cabins that i didn't have a chance to show you during this short visit just go to the majesty website and they'll have all the virtual tour you need to see the virtual tour mm -hmm.